Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be recreating this nail I did yesterday, which is also a recreation of a nail hack that Jellylicious did of Simply Nailogical's scratch off nail design. But Jellylicious thing design was a lot easier and for this design I'm going to be using a stamping plate from Born Pretty which is BP802 and there's this lovely butterfly one and I'm going to be using the two images with the lady and the butterflies and that one which I used to create the other design but also for this design guys you'll you know I'm using Twinkle Tees black polish which is called Vibin a white polish from Beatles which is 325 and my stamper from Smiley's Glitter Store and a brush on Amazon that I got from Amazon and I'm also going to be using the Freak Show collection from Chameleon Glitters which are neon glitters but I'll leave all the links down below and also the pigment I'm using is another glitter from Chameleon's Glitters but this isn't in the Freak Show this is Dory but it's still Gives a cool effect. You'll also need a matte top coat to get the chalkboard look and a coat so it's to protect the pigments once we've on. So let's begin. So, first of all, oh, and I've also got these white stiletto pops. So, first, all you need to do is get your white gel polish and put it on the puppets because the pigments really work better if they've got a white background hope you can see what I'm doing so I'm looking closer so you can see In there. One there. This one. I should have really done this bit. Save time. Right, it looks like a phone coat with the people's polishes on. Right, I'm going to cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds. As you can see, the glitters are really glowing. And then when that's finished, I'm going to cure it. For, uh, put another coat on it and then cure it again before we move on to the pigments. Sorry about that, just making some tape. I forgot to do that bit. And you don't need a lot of pigments for this to work. You can invest in it. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'll try and be a bit more clearer. The first coat. Second coat. Oh, 
Ich schaue mal ohne eine Rauskraft. Geht dann zu früh weg. Aber ich würde die Wände sagen, ja, ja, man lernt sich die Fratte von Basecoat und as well. Auf der Prep in your nails. But because I'm doing this on puppet, I just need to do that. Sorry if you can hear noise. Hobby's watching a video in the next room. Oh, and that's what the nail looks like with two coats of beetles, right? And then we cure that, and then we move on to the exciting bit of the pigment. But while I'm waiting for that to cure, here's two of the nails that I did yesterday. So there's one. And I did another version of the scratch of nail. But as you can see, see what that one looks. But everybody's favourite seemed to be the lady with the butterflies in her hair. So this is the one I'll be recreating. For pigments, which is fun. I'll close it up and put a book. I'll take them out. Put this one to the side. You don't need. And the first one I'm going to be using is this beautiful purple neon, which is called Maniac. So all you do. Dip your brush in and get the tiniest amount of pigment and then you just brush it on like so. Do it here so you can see. Okay, you just go down. Let's go a bit more close to the one. And then pick any up. I guess brush. Oh, too much. I don't know what I do. Mm -hmm. And then the same purple looks. And you just dust the brush off. Right, so we'll move purple back over there. And we'll go for the yellow. And the same as before guys, put some pigment on your brush, and go down the nail, you can overlap the nails to make it look more like a, an ombre effect, oh my god, just blow any excess of air, I should have really done that the other way, but never mind, I'm sure I'll, my table's already sparkling anyway. Next, we'll move on to this gorgeous orange, which is called Insane. I suddenly have to tell you what the other one was called. The other one is called Lunatic. So, same as before. Get your brush. Put it in the pigment. And go down the nail. And then it okay, well, I'll stick up there. See, that's how it's looking so far. And then the next part I'm going to use is green. So I don't need to repeat this bit, just move on to your next colour. Like the same as we did before. Just go 
Leute. Ja. Last color on this one is going to be pink. Oh, what was it here? Green was called Creep. And the pink one is called Freak. Which is the last one in the Freak Show collection. Here. Yeah. Can use that one all the way. Push down. And that's all the nail look. Mine's like that. Just make sure all the dust is off. And then get your no wipe top coat. I'm using Mother of Gloves no wipe top coat. I put a layer of this on to protect the pigment. Like this, Make sure you cover all the pigments. See that now. Yeah, like like that. I'm gonna put that on oh, for sixty seconds. As you can see my table is covered, but while that one's doing, let's move on to the next one. So for the start of this nail, I'm going to use Dory, which, like I said, isn't part of the Freak, uh, freak Show collection, but it is still a chameleon glitter. And like I did before, I'm just going to go down the nail, in a line. I'll attempt to. I'm going to have the blue, blue ribs. And I'm going to go on the reverse way. All the colours. I think it's just in a bit closer. Let's see what I'm doing. Freak. So far, so far we've used Dorian Freak. Now I'm going to use Creep, which is the green one. Because you'll need a gel that has the sticky inhibition layer. Don't wipe that off. I should have said that at the beginning. You need something for the pigments to adhere to it. Make the last colour on this one. Oh, that's too much pigment. Here's another one. Put that in like we did before. No, put that there. That's what that one looks like. The damn colours. Move them off. Take them off. And the same as what we did with the other one, guys. Is that we take our no white top coat. The nail and we get this. Oh, the pigment does this one. Stick it in. That's 
done with that top coat. Right, now we're going to move on to the fun bit. Which is stamping. So let's turn that over. I'll we'll pick one over. Right, so like I said, I'm going to be using bourbon from Twinkle Tea and my bomb Pritchin stamping plate. And all you want to do is get your flush out. Pick your image. And I'm going to use the one, the lady in her hair, the lady with the butterflies in her hair. Take your stencil, clear one works best, and then pick up change. Come on, camera, focus. There we go. It's a lovely lady, the thing. And then all I'm going to use a bit of double sided sticky tape, well, masking tape, sorry. Take off all the bits that I don't want. And as you can see, that is what we're we'll left with. Just move this to the hair. And then you get your nail. I'm trying to do this. I'm going to do it. 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 And to create that, where is it? Now, to make it look like this, all you need to do is take your stamp, stamping polish that I used here. Move that up there. And just gently, you can use a fine liner brush to do this, but simply. Over the edges like that. Don't go too high up because you'll ruin it. And the same with just going over the top. It's completely honest, but it's still going to ruin it. And then, fill in all the colours on the top. There you go. There's a lady with the butterflies in her hair. And all you do is you let that dry, which shouldn't take long because it's stamp and polish. But while that one's drying, I'm going to stamp another lady, the other lady on the other side. Use this one. And then I'll show you what this one looks like. Show people. Now that 
gosto. Same as before, take your stump out, press it over the image, and then just do the woman, the butterflies in her hair, and then take all the tape the same as you did before, and take off all the bits that you don't want to be transferred. Do your design, which all the steps. And then yeah. oh. yeah. it has to go outside every time it's carried or see. And this is what we're left with. But I'll show sure, I'll show sure better up on the there. Take it out. Same as before. Oh, no one did. You know why? I hadn't even cured the polish. What an idiot. Never mind. Just reapply. Back on top. Stick it in the lamp. Okay. <laughs> Take off all this image. Never mind. For that to dry a bit longer. So, 17 seconds, guys, and then we'll be finished. Mm, wait, I should have put it. Polish on. Scrape the polish down. One over scrape. Take the stamp out. Pick up the image, which is perfect like that. And then just take off all the bits that you don't need with. Let's see if I have better look this time. So, same as you did before. Take, take the woman. And stamp her on the nail. And just like that guys. I left with the other lady. Who looks like. This, which is slightly different to the other lady. 
Well, I'll see him. And then all we do is the same as I did before. Is that you take your stamp and polish. And there you go guys, there was the second, yeah, come on focus, the idea I did with the butterflies, and there was the first lady, that's the first lady, hmm. that's the second lady, so, yeah. and then all you do, I'm put that top on these. Yes. I'll clean that thing and then you take your matte top coat and I'm using the matte top coat from Nails and I'm going to just put a matte, coat on, matte top coat on the first lady we did. Because then that gives her the chalkboard look. So we just cover her. As you can see. Because I'm not sure she's all covered. Let's have a mock cup. And she can be well that one dries a little bit more. So But I'd love to see you guys recreate these and hopefully you won't be as messy as me. This shouldn't take long to dry it. No. Oh. And I will insert pictures of what they look like at the end. I'm going to just have a go at this because this is to finish again. Sorry about that, guys. My phone decided to play silly beggars and wouldn't let me finish recording. So, here were the finished designs I did. There's one lady with the butterflies up and the same one as I did yesterday the same so I hope you like it they both had one coat of nails matte top coat and to show you the one I did yesterday this is the one I did yesterday which I recreated just now for you guys and then I did this one as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I look forward to seeing if you give it a go. And please go and check out Jellylicious and Simply Neological to watch their videos and see how they did it. And, uh, and also please stay safe and stay at home. Uh, bye for now guys. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Take care. Bye.